Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Take and Make Craft with Lori at Manlius Library. This week we're going to be doing bubble wrap printing or bubble wrap painting. And in your kit, if you came and got one, you will find a canvas. It's wrapped in plastic, so make sure you open your canvas. You will also find a handful of cotton balls. Pardon me, I'm opening my canvas. Okay. All right, canvas is open. So, canvas, some cotton balls, a sheet of bubble wrap, and three random pots of paint. I'm just using the ones that were left from when I did the fall scene that we painted a couple weeks ago. Um, so I'm gonna use red, yellow, and orange, but you'll have random ones in your kit. If you have other acrylic paints that you'd like to use, by all means, go ahead and do so. And that's it. Something I will find, you might find handy is to have a small paper plate or a paper towel or something to set your cotton balls on after you've used them. And if you decide to do this with a paintbrush, you're gonna want a cup of water so you can rinse out your paintbrush in between. I also always find it handy to have a cloth or a rag or some kind of paper towel to wipe your hands off because this can get a little messy. So your first step is to take your, your bubble wrap and carefully tear it. Whoops, you don't want to pop too many of the bubbles. Carefully tear it into quarters. You can tear it smaller if you want to, but I really like the effect of using something about this size. All right. So what you're going to do, set this aside for a second. So what you're going to do is open up your paints and you are going to paint on the bubbly side of the bubble wrap, the textured side. You can hear it if you run your fingers over it. The other side, it sounds the same, but it feels different. So take my word for it. <laughs> you want the bubbly side of the bubble wrap. And as you can see, these paints, this one tipped over, um, but the paints are still really good and they've been in these little cups for a few weeks now. So you're going to take one of your paint, one of your cotton balls and dip it in a paint cup, whatever color you want to use, and just paint on the bubbles. You can do this in any pattern that you want. It does get messy. As I mentioned on the instruction sheet, this is also a really great way to use maybe brown paper bags or cardstock. You could do this instead of on a canvas, you could do it on one of those and make wrapping paper or greeting cards or stationery. Okay, you want to be careful not to mix your paints and then put them back in the same paint pot because that'll mix your paints in a paint pot. Okay, so I'm going to do just one last across here and across here. Okay, so whatever pattern you want to do. I, I'm, you work quite, quite, pardon me, you work fairly quickly when you're doing this because you don't want the early paint to dry before you finish with this, the um, last bit. Okay, so we've got our canvas. I'm gonna slide that over a little. We've got our bubble wrap. You're just gonna take it and very carefully lay it down somewhere on your canvas, wherever you wanna start. Don't slide it because that'll just leave you a smear and then just gently pat down. And then peel up and you've got yourself a design. Now you can lay that back down. Oops, stuck. And do the same. Okay. Or you can set your canvas aside. Eek. Okay. 
and add more paint to your bubble wrap. You can also use one of your other bubble wrap pieces. So let's see, we'll do a little bit of orange through here. Maybe a little in that corner. Add more yellow or red. It is less messy with a paintbrush, but I think it's not quite as fun. Remember, pat, don't smear. And then let's get that corner. And anywhere along on your painting that you see that you think might need some color, you can lay it down. There we go. And there you have A bubble wrap painting. It would look lovely framed and on the wall. As I said before, it would also look lovely as wrapping paper or as a greeting card or stationery if you want to write letters to people. Okay, I hope that you had fun today and I'll see you next Thursday at four o'clock.